so we're going to do a cervical flexion test. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put Kristen in C0, C1 neck flexion. We're going to ask her to hold that position for 10 seconds. We're going to watch to see if we have any aberrant movement patterns. Uh, if you go back to your PowerPoint, there's probably a slide right before this picture that talks about reasons you would do this. I need to make sure you know that, those indicators, that are certainly be a test question. So we're going to put her in a little C0, C1 neck flexion. Good tuck here. So her head is off the table at this point. Maybe her hair is slightly brushing it. I'm going to let you go. You're going to hold that position. So as we let go, Kristen should be able to maintain that position. I'm going to go ahead and real, uh, stop the test for you for a second. If she instead breaks position and starts to chin jut on me, so this was original position, chin jut. If she starts to chin jut, that's tightness in the suboccipitals or the sternocleidomastoid muscle, okay? Now, if she starts shaking violently, I, I wouldn't say she's winning in that position, so I would just go ahead and call that a fail. You may see the patient's head drift off to one side or the other or start to rotate. Um, that could indicate some levator scap tightness. That could indicate maybe a unilateral sternocleidomastoid muscle tightness. Um, at the end of the day, she needs to be able to hold the position for 10 full seconds. That's our cervical flexion test.